which of the center activity are you most involved in? I was an active part of a number of activities, but lately we went uh, planting the rest of home. Uh, that was a bit inspired me. Uh, it is a blood donation activity. What is the driving factor that allows you to be involved in these activities? Um, actually, we are lucky to have everything, but there's people out there is more need many things, so we go and have some service over there. Uh, of course, it's a, a good deed for the community and also humanity. Now. So that really makes me to get involved in it. What is your take-home message from your activities in centre? Take-home message will be, okay, all right, we have a beautiful family here, but people out there, they don't have family, children with uh, no parents and all that. So once in a while, it's no harm, we go and visit them and do some service for them. Of course, uh, you need some kind of uh, peace of mind and also, you know, some kind of spirituality in your life. So you get it here. How do you manage to juggle time between your work life and your centre activities? Um, if you think possible, everything is possible. If you decide you don't want to involve, then you won't be involved in anything. Somehow, I think with the Swami's blessing, I'm able to do it. And because of my wife's support and my children are so much involved here, uh, we are able to juggle the timing between both of us. And, uh, what are inspiring factors that make you continue your participation in centre? Actually, I wish I could do more, but due to my health factor, I reduce so many activities. But whenever I got opportunity, I'm willing to do better. Oh, this, of course, uh, my wife and my children. Uh, because they, uh, whenever there's uh, balbikas or centre's activity, they're the first one will be at the doorstep to, you know, start to you know, say, okay, let's go for the center. What emotions do you feel after a service activity? Of course, when we talk to the old people and they, the children are not taking care. I remember one of our center brother, Murti, always tell, don't really emphasize the word, don't ever neglect your parents. Please do take care of your parents. That was my first when I bring my children to center and this message really inspired me and I always keep in my mind. Of course, uh, feel good emotion. At the same time, uh, again, uh, you know, you feel like you have done uh, uh, something that, you know, that uh, you need to do as a, you know, as a person that living in this earth. Lah. And you feel very good and happy with it. What would you like to say to parents who would like to join in for this activity? Especially as a preschool teacher, I always encourage, I used to talk to parents out there, bring your child, participate in this type of organization. And parents, you also can have a good value time in this center, rather than watching serial and negative things. So it's a lot of benefits. I think you have to grab it. Of course, the new ones, uh, uh, the time has to come for them to get involved this kind of activities and uh, they can always uh, try out one portion or one part of the activity instead of fully involving because most of the time I complain with time. Uh, I don't have a time and all that. So gradually they will, you know, they start with something, small activity, then they can get their more money. Existing parents, I think uh, instead of just sending the children for the classes and all that, they also should participate or get more in some kind of activity. Uh, I mean, uh, a mere small assistance, if they can contribute, that will be a great, you know, uh, thing for the entire center. You know, too many hands will be good now.